Hello everyone! Welcome back to another episode of Witcher 3 Wild Hunt. It is a hot day today in the good old city of Shatown, so hopefully I will be okay without the air conditioner. <laughs> today, uh, definitely a hot one. It felt like 100 degrees outside. Uh, and the gust of wind wasn't very nice. It was like somebody going, <laughs> but stinky too, so. Uh, right now we're gonna go finish up this one quest that we had a while back about uh, somebody's statue, a piece of something that belonged to a statue, you know what I mean? Uh, how do I get there? Here we go. Hopefully he'll give them to me. No? Right here. Is he wearing the same stuff? I'm back. Shh, shh. Not so loud. You wake her. She won't another go. Wake who? Rosalinda. Louisa, her cousin. <laughs> she's, she's voracious. Got an inexhaustible appetite. But I'm tapped out. What's it matter that the spirit is willing when the flesh is simply spent? My heart nearly leapt out of my chest last time. Here, you must take the testes and let the Oda grant your strength, as I dare say you will need it. Okay. It kind of looks like I have uh, scissors in my. <laughs> On my back, is not it? Maybe? I don't know. Alright, so now we gotta go back to the uh, art guy, curator, and maybe I'm gonna get paid. If I can remember how to get there. Oh. Nothing happens, I'll cut to it. Well, have you recovered Reginald's family jewels? Yep, got them back. Lepiotus luscious lips, it's them! <laughs> it's really them! I hope this modest reward nonetheless conveys the extent of my gratitude. Yeah, and points. look in on us tomorrow for the grand reopening. You shall stroke Reginald at no charge on the house. Uh, did he get me money? Did he not give me money? Did he give me a statue? <laughs> Is that what he gave me? What? Terrible. Alright folks, we're gonna do some side missions here. Uh, I believe I have a quest for a knight's tale. Tales? A knight's tales? So let's see what happens. Hopefully. Wow, look at that mountain in the back. Look at all these deer. I wonder if I could shoot one. I've never really shot a deer, or have I? I don't really remember. I've kind of been running around, so. <laughs> He kind of spooked them. Gods be bum poked! You must hang on, my lady. Huh? What the heck happened here? You, Jacob. Heal, Mohort. Down. Who asks? A Witcher. Saw your notice. Hold up. A witcher, you say? Like in Louis Herrera's tales and fables. Luckier than a green, bleeding leprechaun I am. See, not a soul around believes this tree is Daphne, the cursed lady of legend. But you, 
you could lift the curse. So what makes you think there's a girl cursed inside the tree? Well, I came out with my dog, Moholt, to cut her down. Axe in hand, a broad swing I took. The edge burrowed deep in her trunk, and bum botch me if blood didn't spurt forth. My jaw dropped in the dirt, but right then I knew. Every jot of it in the tail of Daphne Gareth and the Witch of Lynx Craig. Don't tell me. From Herrera's tales and fables. You porking bet. Second <laughs> edition. Ament it in octavo. I know those tales by heart. My nan read them to put me to sleep. Guess she read it cover to cover. Colophon included. Let's see. Let me examine the tree. Fond of fairy tales. I don't know. I guess, yeah. Got me curious, gotta admit. You really think the old tales are true? Taking the weepy, are you? Do you think me bore me? No, it's just these are dark, grim times. No room for knights pure of heart or happily ever afters. So I don't often run into folk like you. Yes, true, the times are crowd pie. Uh, but I see this as all the more reason to remember the tales. My gran would say, if you know not what to do, Think to the chessboard knight and noble Alondra, and the path they would choose. She schooled me so thorough in it, I could not do otherwise, even if I wished to. Nice, nice story. Let me take a look at the tree. Careful now. Stay with me. What? <laughs> Oh. I swear I hear sobs in the rustling leaves. Okay. Logger was making good time. Strange though. Willow's isolated. No other trees near it. There's somebody crying. Blood. Seeped from the direction of the tree, judging by the shape of the stain. It actually really does bleed. Looks like human blood, too. And the bark resembles hypertrophic scars in places. Medallions humming like crazy. Intense magic at work here. Is that it? Did I pick everything? <laughs> the tree is definitely crying. And? Did you look at the tree close? Mm-hmm. Actually does bleed. Pretty incredible. Looks wondrous. Did I not say so? <laughs> I hate when they say, let's talk about my reward. Willing to I help, wanna... but first I gotta figure out where to start. No need. I know it all. Miss Daphne and Sir Gareth shared a terrible and fearsome laugh for each other. Yet to prove himself worthy of her hint, Gareth was to face the Witch of Lynx Craig. Before Sir Gareth set off for the hill, Miss Daphne gave him her kerchief, a token of her favor. Let me guess, he never returned. He did not. She stood here, day upon day, night upon night, trying to spy him. Till she sprouted roots and turned into a tree? Wonder why? I will fecking tell you why! <laughs> to await the moment when Gareth returns, kerchief in hand. That is the power of love. The power of longing. So you must scale Lynx Craig. Search there for a means to free Daphne. I will give you my book of tales to refer to. And good luck, Witcher. Thanks. Oh, jeez. So we're gonna end up dealing with a witch, huh? Oh, I wonder if I can get one of those. I've never done this. Yeah. Did I get it? Oh, I think I got it. Holy mackerel, I got it. Whew. 
Now I feel like a terrible person. <laughs> <laughs> I swear I thought this was okay so there's a bridge maybe if I go this way oh I just have to keep climbing oh man that's interesting these panthers aren't like attacking me a hut the witches Doesn't seem like there's anything going on in there. Um, there's a cage. <laughs> Some strawberries. Lavender. Wax. Other things. Looks inhabited. No sign of the dweller, though. Guess I'll look around. Don't mind. Ooh! Green to red? Yes! That's exactly what I need. Warm. Smells inconclusive. No idea what ingredients are in there. Hmm. Okay. Interesting. More books. Avery Vonis. Conclave of Mages banned this town. Uh oh. Yay. Bones ground into dust. Oh dear. Notes on the use of yarrow stems. Interesting. Hmm. Uh oh. Mm. Mm. A wall of spell enhancements or trophies. I guess let's start from the bottom. Silk kerchief. DF, Daphne. DF. Mm. Could use it to break the curse if it's Daphne's. None but feral cats stray in here most oft, yet it seems I forgessed from afar at that. What do you seek in my home? Already found it. You do not aim to lift the curse from the tree, girl, do you? What if I do? Then you had best know you waste your time. The old tales. Did your nan not tell them to you? Even I, the witch of Link's Crag, would be hard pressed to overcome the power of love and longing. Guess, yeah, what happened to Sir Gareth? The Lady's Knight. You ever make it here? Sir Gareth. Yes. He came to sway me but had a quick change of heart. To be precise, it came after the first night we spent together. He stayed a fair while, then his conscience got the better of him, and he resolved to return to his beloved. Might have resolved to, but never made it. A tragic fate befell him along the way. You have anything to do with this turn of fate? Of course. Was I to let another woman have a man who belonged to me? Homewrecker. Yeah, I can lift the curse myself, but I don't want to, like, threaten her. I'll handle the curse myself, without your help. Go right ahead. I wish you luck. Letting me go, just like that? I could not have devised a better ending for this little tale. Our visit is done. Adieu. For never shall we meet again. Um, it's locked now. Is that all I needed? Is that all I needed? <laughs> oh no! What if 
I don't have everything that... Behold a kerchief, proof of your love for another. Flips, what the demon happened there? My fault. Went about lifting the curse the wrong way. More like tore than freed her from her prison. Shock was too much. Released all the rage and pain that was in her. Blimey, man. I suppose that's what I get for hiring a bungler. At least the lady's pain is done. She'll suffer no more in the tree. Now take your coin and go. Oh, I did it all wrong? Oh, man. Oh, I have a feeling if I say lift the curse or else I'm gonna fight her. Probably not in this little hut, so... Refuse to help me and I'll make you regret it. And force you to. Do you know what really makes my blood boil? Bluster, threats, especially beneath my own roof. Wouldn't need to use either if you'd cooperate. How would I do that, Giffen? You will soon be dead. Akandar! <laughs> Lost your nerve. Jesus, this is a bad idea. Oh, well, son of a. None but feral cats stray in here most oft, yet it seems I forgessed from afar at that. What do you seek in my home? Already found it. You do not aim to lift the curse from the tree, girl, do you? What if I do? Then you had best know you waste your time. The old tales? Did your nan not tell them to you? If an I, the witch of Link's Crag would be hard pressed to overcome the power of love and longing. Oh! We have a just lift the curse, please. That's interesting. You already know what happened. <laughs> What if I asked you nicely to lift the curse, please? Gareth met the fate he deserved. And what happened to his witch was not my fault. All right, so you didn't cast the curse. But could you help lift it? I probably could. But why ever would I? Um... <laughs> I can lift the curse myself. I'll humble myself. I'll make you do it. <laughs> I'll make you do it. I'll humble myself, prostrate myself before you like the Gareth of the Tale did. I 
beseech you to help me. Lift the curse that imprisoned Daphne in the tree. When I saw you enter my hut, I thought, now there is a fellow who shall bend his neck for no one. Stand. I don't like that idea. Though. None. Not even I can restore to the last the yes she has lost. Can erase the suffering she has endured. We cannot bring her back to life. But I shall tell you how you might let her depart in peace. Yet my aid shall have its price. A lock of your hair. Hmm. How can I know you won't use it to cast a spell on me? I require this. I must, for with it I will cast a spell to conceal me from you for all time, and will use it for nothing else. You will nag me never again, and you've nothing to fear, I assure you. I always keep my word. <laughs> uh, fine. I'll trust you against my better judgment. Lock of my hair's yours. That's a lot of hair, girl. Splendid. What do I need to do? You must convince the maiden her beloved yearn to return, but perished in the attempt. Take her silk kerchief and a fragment of Gareth's remains. His bones lie bleaching in the cave beneath this rock. Fire must consume the kerchief and remains. And remember, your heart, your intentions must be pure. Clear? Yeah. Thanks for your help. You're welcome. And adieu. Once you walk out that door, never shall we meet again. Why is she all bent up about... Alright. So, wow, kind of should have read all the books when they give them to you. <laughs> Not bad. I have to find the entrance. So, down here somewhere? How far of a drop is that? Quite a bit. Let's see. Do that thing. There you go. Whee! Here it is. Oh god! No 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 no! Oh god! Oh. I'm poisoned! Still does that thing where it sucks. Oh. Okay, can I climb up? I can't climb up. Jesus, this always happens. Okay, I'm gonna do this. Oh, oh Jesus. Ouch. Ah. Come on, kill it! Ugh. 
That was not very cool. What are these things? Die! It's up there. Oh, I found it. How did this not come up? It's right here. Oh, he's... A knight's dead. plate armor and some bones. Gareth's remains? These then? Wonder why the armor came apart. Magic? Or you just fall from a high? Gotta get back to the tree. Lift the curse. Oh, maybe he fell. That stinks. Wait, what is this over here? Is this like another... A skip? A skippy? So I can go up this way. <laughs> Probably an easier way to get in here, I guess. I don't know. Alright, finally, let's get this crazy thing over with. So? You met the witch. You must have. What did you learn? That witch? She's not near as bad as folks say. Made me bow and scrape, sure. But I know some sorceress is witchier than her. Joyous, bleeding news, but what about Daphne? <laughs> I can lift the curse, free her, by performing a ritual, making a sacrifice of her kerchief and Gareth's remains. But we gotta start at the right time. When the hour comes, I'll light four fires for the four winds, then begin the ritual. Fires? Then I shall be of use to you after all. Seems you need wood, much of it. Chop as much as you can. I'll see to the rest. Ooh, guys, we're gonna do this right. I've chopped and stacked the wood. What now? My turn. <laughs> Gotta light fires and talk to the woman enchanted in the tree. No idea how this'll turn out. So just in case, stand at a distance. And if you see me draw my sword, run. Okay, I'm so nervous. I don't want to have to kill that poor woman again. Oh, oops. Don't look your last to the world's four winds. From the south, not a word. All right. Next. From the east, no cry is heard. Oh, I don't have to. I could just stand by it and. From the north, silent sighs. That's not as fun. And from the west, peer hollow eyes. Cease your vigil. Dead he lies. Did I do it? Did I do it? Hear me, you who hide beneath this bark. The day of your freedom has come. Behold a kerchief, proof of your love for another. Behold, a bone of he to whom you offered your love. Shall never return. No, he won't. Is his love for me gone? Did he stay true? Uh, yeah. Gareth remained faithful to the end of his days. The time comes that I depart. I've waited too long. I've suffered too much. And now I wish to go. Farewell, lady. 
I thank you, stranger. And you, my knight. I thank you for speaking to me. For standing vigil at my feet. Yay. I did not think it would end this way. I hoped we could revive her. But I guess it was not to be. <laughs> we did what we could. We did all we could. You did well. Here, your pay. And the book is yours as well. Great. Thanks. Thanks. Take care of yourself. More money? Oh, it's so the same long, amount Mitchell. of money. I must think. Put this straight in my head. Yeah. Uh, there are no clouds in the sky. That cloud? Only one cloud. Whoo! Well, that was a fun one, I guess. <laughs> it took a long time to do, but I guess it was worth it. We saved a town of some sort. Killed a bunch of people here. That was fun. Gosh, there's another notice board. Um, so I think that's it for today, for this one. I don't know if I'm going to divide it up, but I'm going to try and put it all in one video. It's very long. Of what not to do <laughs> for this quest. So I hope you enjoyed, guys. Thanks for watching.